All right, quick tip. I'm just gonna show you how to color in a black and white drawing or a black and white sketch. Uh, it's really easy. I'm gonna be using Procreate on an old iPad Pro 12.9 inch from like 2015. Um, yeah, let's do it. So this is my black and white sketch um, or grayscale, whatever you wanna call it. And basically I broke it down so that the bear is its own layer. So whatever you have, you just wanna isolate it so that whatever you're sketching, so whatever you're coloring, it's only on one layer. So I'm gonna take that layer and I'm going to uh, select that layer. I'm gonna make a new layer above it. So essentially the bear, everything that's just the bear is still selected. I'm gonna just find the color that I wanna color this in. I'm gonna take my graffiti brush. You can use any brush as long as it's, as long as it's kind of big so you can just get a lot of, cover a lot of ground easily. So just make sure that's all colored in. And then I'm gonna go back to the layer that we just uh, put the paint on. So essentially, this is just what it looks like alone. And that's with our drawing underneath. So I'm gonna just gonna go to hard light. And it looks pretty good. We still have all the detail. And if you wanna go a little bit richer, you can duplicate that and then mess with the opacity. So make it a little richer and then merge that down. And then I'll have to go in and change the color on certain things, but essentially all that work is done. Um, and then eventually, let me see if you can merge them down. That's what happens with some of the layers. They change colors when you merge them. Okay, so that's not gonna work. So I think what we have to do is give it a background. So I'm gonna take a layer, add a layer underneath. I'm gonna use the same color that I had for the background, whether it's white or I kind of use this beigey kind of color. So you might have to, you know, just go around your character and then you can, you can take like an airbrush to erase and then you can kind of like erase around it. That kind of thing. But essentially it just gives it a background. So let's see if it works now. Let's see if I merge that down and then I merge that, then it works. So essentially all you have to do is paint a background behind whatever you're, whatever you're drawing. Um, and then you'll be able to merge it and then you'll be able to work on it. So, but just make sure you do all the details. Like I'm going to do that last. I'm going to leave the, um, I'm going to leave the hard light layer and then I'm going to continue coloring everything with the regular background. And then at the end, I'm going to merge underneath because I still have to color in like, you know, his, his little leash and all this other stuff. So I don't want to make it, I don't want to make him a solid color, uh, because I still need to work underneath that layer. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, I'm going to continue to work with my background that color in that way I can do the same thing like if I want to color in the leash here I can just I can color this in and then I can change it and also Another trick, another thing that's really cool about this is you can go to the hard light layer and you can change, you can change the colors. So you have a lot of options. All right, so hopefully you found that useful. Um, leave me a comment if there's something else that you want to know or if you have a question. And I'm happy to do tutorials about any little thing because sometimes it's these little tricks that can make life a lot easier when you're drawing and especially, you know, on, on Procreate. Also, uh, make sure you subscribe on YouTube for more videos and full videos. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at DrugFreeDave. And I'm also on TikTok too, so find me on TikTok. All right, so... As always, I'll see you in the next video.